Hi, my name is John Dren. Welcome to my tutorial on Scratch, a software developed by MIT users to help everyone learn a bit of programming. You can download it in the description. When you start Scratch, the first thing that happens is you get a little cat, and let's just go ahead and cut him out. All right, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. First of all, there's the viewing window. The viewing window is where you see all of your scripts in action. This is like the window in Movie Maker. Down here we have our scripts area. We don't have any yet, but we're going to be making some. And here's our options to make a new sprite, create a new sprite from file, or get a surprise sprite. Over here is our scripts window, our backgrounds tab, notice we can import or paint, and our sounds, which we can record or import. And scripts is where we're going to take these blocks and drag them in to create scripts. Basically what it does is simplifies writing code into building a puzzle. Now notice you can, it does come with a bunch of preloaded sprites. Some of them are kind of stupid. You might want to look at them. You might find something you need. But for now, we're going to create a new sprite. Now notice we can import as well, but for now, for this tutorial, small circle should do. There we are. Now let's start putting scripts in to make this circle do something. Now you can't just start dragging in scripts like this or like this. Even if they're connected, like the puzzle, they have to be closed. They have to start with something that you can't add something on top of it. Otherwise, nothing will happen. So what you need is a closed top like this. When that's clicked, see you notice you can't add anything to the top of it. It's closed. So when that's clicked is a good way to start your programs because the green flag up at the top is how you're going to start your programs at all times. So something has to start when you click that. And everything can go from there. So let's make this circle do something. Let's make it move around. Um, let's come to repeat forever, forever if. These are all of your, your options. And we're going to pick forever if for this tutorial. And we're going to say forever if touching, touching the mouse. So let's come over here and find sensing, touching, mouse. Now, if we had more sprites down here at the bottom, then we would be able to select those from the drop-down list, but we don't, so there's not. And so for every touching mouse pointer, we'll say go to x0, y0. But we don't want it to go to x0, y0. We want it to go to a random place. And luckily, it comes with a random selection. It would be very hard to program if it didn't. So notice over here though that the mouse coordinates go way over one and ten. So let's let's see, um two two twenty eight about for the mouse X as far as it goes. So let's come over here and enter that. Alright. And then over here it's probably gonna be negative, opposite. And then here we go, we have to do the same thing for Y. And it goes from about negative 161 to about 161. So now, when we click Go, notice that this is highlighted. That means it's working. And if you need something to be highlighted and it's not, that means you've, you have a leak in your code and you need to work on that. So now when we touch it, it jumps around. And there you go. That's pretty much how you make a program. Now let's just add a little bit of fun to this because it's kind of boring right now. So let's let's make a score for it. So for that you're gonna make a variable and pretty self explanatorily it's gonna be called score. Okay, and there it is. Now it says sprite one score, that's because this is called sprite one. We could rename it as ball if we wanted. So now it says ball score equals zero. 
Now here are our options for this score. And when we start, we want the score to be 0. And when we touch it, we want the score to change by 1. So now you notice when we play, the score is 0. And now it's 1, 2, 3, 4. So there you go. That's my first tutorial on Scratch. I will be going over every single one of the motion blocks that you can use in in person and specifically for its own tutorial. So sound, look, sensing, and each one of the things inside of it to get you good on each one of those. Thank you.